What is going on guys, DBG here, and they've actually released the Chord Vision players. Well, they haven't, well, they've been released in the game, but they've literally just been put onto the database about 30 seconds ago, so I can guarantee very few people have pulled them so far. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about whether I think these cards are worth it or not. Last year, I actually, this was one of my most popular series, and I'm going to actually give a price that I think they're worth it for right now. So anyway, now let's go over the players. First of all, we have got the reward Darren Williams card. Obviously, there's no pic um, pictures for these cards up yet. We've got the reward Darren Williams card. This card has got five gold badges. He's got Acrobat, Relentless Finisher, Anchor Breaker, Pick and Roll Maestro, Dimer. He's also only got 35 intangibles, so he's a hidden diamond, probably. <laughs> But he does have a 92 open shot mid, 90 open shot 3, driving at a 45 not great, especially because his tendency is only 50, I mean he might do a little bit when he's open, 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 94 speed with ball, 80 on ball defensive IQ, 84 steel is really good, 96 ball control, 95 passing accuracy, 93 driving layup, so this card, yeah it is, it's quite good, it's quite good, 3500 total attributes, like I'd say... In total for this collection, I wouldn't spend, no matter what, I wouldn't spend more than 40k MT. Like, there are definitely better Ruby cards in the normal collections. This won't go towards anything, so if it's any more than 40k MT, I would say pass on this collection. So the lowest rated player is Andre Miller, who's got an 84 open shot mid, 69 open shot 3. He's also got 77 speed, 86 ball control, good passing stats, only 6 foot 2 with low speed and can't dunk, so... Yeah, this card is very poor. Very, very poor. Like, I'd say anything over 1,000 MT and I'd pass on this card. There's no, no reason to pick up this card. Unless he's, like, the last guy to complete the collection. There's no reason to pick up this card. It's very poor. So we have got Mike Bibby. Six foot one point guard. Only a 45 driving dunk. He's got no badge, but he does a microwave, which is quite good. Driving dunk tendency of zero. So, you know, it is 45. He's not going to dunk. 83 speed, 83 acceleration, 83 speed ball, only an open shot, 3 of 78, 83 open shot, mid ball control of 86, meaning he can't speed boost, and again, like, this guy's not really up to much, can't even defend or score really a driving layup or standing layup, so, anything over 1k MT, I wouldn't even consider picking up this card. Next, we've got a guy who I've never heard of, and it's Charlie Ward, 6 foot 2 point guard. 72 open shot mid, 85 open shot 3, good speed of 87, good acceleration 89, good box for 86, good speed of ball 89, 6 2 so he's not too small, 82 on ball defense like you, 95 steal which is big, that is huge. Let's have a look at his tendency, see if he can dunk. 50 driving dunk tendency with a 20, with 35 rating mean he'll probably dunk wide, well, wide open, but other than that this card's a good defender, great steal rating. Really good three-point shot. Depending on his release, this card could be quite good. So I probably would pay up to maybe the 2k MT. This card looks to be a George Hill type of a player. This card could be a very good goal card to pick up, especially if he's really cheap because he does have that 100 in salary and he will have that. So he could be a great, great card to pick up. So I'd say a value of around 2k MT for Charlie Ward. Next, we've got a guy I've never heard of, Travis Best. His one badge is Pick and Roll Maestro. He's got 75 open shot mid, 67 open shot three. Good on ball defensive IQ, but um, low steal rating. He's only five foot eleven. Good speed, acceleration speed with ball, but again, he's five foot eleven. Decent driving layup, but he's five foot eleven. Um, 98 intangibles, which isn't great. Um, no, like this is a like I would. There'd be no circumstances where I'd say it's a good idea to pick up this card unless you really want that Darren Williams. So I'm not even gonna put a value. I'm not even gonna put a value on that card. Now we've got Nick Van Exel, 27 driving dunk, even though he does have a tendency of, oh he only has a tendency of 30, so he's not going to dunk at all. His gold badge is difficult shots, which is quite good, 84 open shot 3, 86 open shot mid, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, he's got um, good enough driving lead by 2, be 6-1, so he's going to get blocked a lot, 90 ball control, 92 speed with ball, he'll have a good release, and this card definitely, like I'd say... I'm gonna say maybe a little bit higher for Nick Van Exel that I would pay around two, two and a half, three k MT maybe for him, especially because of that 150 salary. But there are much, much better Emerald point guards that you can pick up probably for cheaper. But Van Exel normally plays well in game. Next round, the Brandon Jennings again isn't really gonna dunk the ball too much. He's got one goal badge and it's pick and roll maestro as well. He's got 84 open shot made, 81 open shot three. 
85 speed, 84 ball control, so he can't even speed boost. 92 speed with ball is quite good. He's got nine, he's got 70 on ball defense, like you, 63 steel. Decent driving layout, but he's really small and can't dunk, so really, is that going to make too much of a difference? Probably not. So this card actually is quite poor. But like, it's very average right now for the 150 salary, but I'd say, I think they're better goal point guards. They're, not that I think, that it definitely is better goal point guards in this card. And his height, along with his lack of ball control, his lack of ability to speed boost, his uh, slightly above average shooting, his below average defending, this card, there's really no point to pick him up. Maybe 1,000 MT is the value I put on him. Now we are on to these Sapphires. We got Tony Parker first. The gold tier dropper, pick and roll maestro, and one man fast break. He has got a 25 driving hook. He's not going to be dunking. 85 open shot mid. He's got an 8, 79 open shot three, which is not terrible. 96 speed, 95 acceleration, 93 ball control, which is huge. He's also got 95 speed with ball. Not the worst defender, but not great. Good driving lane of 90, but he can't dunk, so he's going to struggle a little bit. So, I know he's going to be about 20k MT. I wouldn't pay more than 10 for him. He's not as good as Steph. He's not as good as Westbrook. I wouldn't pay more than 10k MT for this card. Maybe 10k if you like Tony Parker and because he's 200 in salary, but anything more than 10k and it's he's overpriced. The Rod Strickland, he's 6'3", so he's quite tall. 40 driving dunk only, which isn't great. So look at his tendency to see if he will dunk at all. Driving a 50, so he'll probably dunk a little bit on fast breaks or when he's open. 78 open shot mid, 76 open shot three, 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 90 ball control, 88 speed with ball, 75 on ball defense, Mike, you've not a great steal. Good driving layup, but they get blocked so often that is it doesn't really make much of a difference. Oh, this guy doesn't seem like it's up to much. Let's look at the badges. Acrobat, ankle breaker, pick and roll maestro. So, like again, I put him even at like 6k MT. I think 6k MT is probably too much for this card. Again, the only saving grace it has is that it's only 200 in salary, but, like, really, it's not much of a card, to be honest. I think a Spurs Rod Strickland card is enough Rod Strickland's around, but, yeah, this, this card's not up to much at all. It's not really good option under any in any budget. And we've got Jason Kidd, and this is the 1999 Jason Kidd. So, Ace and Kid, um, even though for some reason he does have a jumper, but can't dunk, which doesn't make sense because he could dunk when he started off, couldn't shoot, but that's just 2k logic. For his badges, he's got Dimer, Pick and Roll Maestro, and Defensive Stopper. But um, he's got 79 open shot, 3, he's got 93 speed, 92 acceleration, 93 ball control, 95 speed of ball, good defense, good steal. And this is the one that I put him up relatively close to the top like i'd say 15k i'd pay because of the salary i'd pay 15k for days get any more than 15k and there's no point even looking at him last up is kenny anderson so i'm guessing this is what the background of the cards is going to look like something like this but um kenny anderson an 86 overall portland trailblazers card he has got 84 open shot three 86 open shot mid but he's only six foot which isn't great 40 driving dunk, his tendencies are, he's at 80 driving dunk tendency, so he will dunk it a little bit. Badges, he comes with Acrobat, Diamond, and Pick and Roll Maestro. He's got 88 speed, which is not the best. 95 ball control, 94 speed ball is really good. He's got um, 91 driving layup, 75 on ball defensive IQ, 78 steal. And to be honest, this card looks like a slightly worse version of the pre-order Kyrie Irving, with better badges. Like... Again, like he's six foot tall. 10k MT is the most I spend. He's not as good as Curry. Anything over 10k MT in this card is not worth it. So, to be honest, even though I think Kenny Anderson could be good in this game, I I don't think it's worth it. I can't see this card being worth it. I don't know. Maybe you guys, maybe you guys might like him, but I can't see him being. I know he'll be more than 15k MT, but he's not going to be worth it. So anyway, that's the video. Obviously, these cards are just being updated right now on 2K MT Central. The cards are barely out in the game. But um, yeah, like I don't think that any of these cards are really worth picking up. Charlie Ward might be a good one to pick up. He genuinely might be a good one to pick up because he's going to be relatively cheap and has 100 salary. I can't see any of the others being good cards to pick up because I can see them all being really overpriced. I gave prices that I think they're going to be worth it at. And the only one that I think will be at that price is Charlie Ward. 
Darren Williams is a great, great card, but I think that these guys are going to be way too expensive. I think this collection is going to be easily 50, 60K, and Darren Williams is not worth anywhere close to that much, especially because he's not, more than likely not going to go towards like the end goal player. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.